Today I will discuss about Borish Delayat method of refraction. Borish Delayat method helps us to achieve maximum relaxation of accommodation without cycloplegics. It based on maximum plus for maximum visual equity principle. Now, why does it called Delayat method? Because in this technique, final refraction is not selected immediately after retinoscopy. Instead, patient is gone through some other test to relax the accommodation for a short period of time. Thus, it's called Borish Delight method. Steps of procedure. Step one: placing retinoscopic power in trial frame. Step two: performing negative relative accommodation or fogging. Step three: binocular balancing by alternate occlusion. Step four. Binocular defogging of NR Abelo. Step 5 Writing final prescription. Now, what are the requirements for the test? Refractive status We will be needed objective refraction or auto refractometer reading or previous glass power. Chart Distance visual equity chart and near visual equity chart. Trial box In the trial box, we will be needed trial frame spherical and cylinder lenses and occluder now let's see the procedure step 1 placing retinoscopic power in the trial frame firstly we will do retinoscopy to identify patient's refractive error we may also start with auto refractometer power or patient's recent glass power the power from retinoscopy or auto refractometer is placed in the trial frame suppose in retinoscopy Patient's refraction is found as in right eye minus 3 and in left eye minus 2.75. Step 2 Performing negative relative accommodation or fogging. Negative relative accommodation or NRA is done to relax the accommodation by adding plus lenses in plus 0.25 diopter steps. Patient is asking to fix it at near target and then plus power is increased in plus 0.25 diopter steps until patient report first sustained blur. Suppose after placing plus 2 diopter in plus 0.25 diopter steps, patient is saying that near target is sustained blur. Now step 3 binocular balancing. Patient is now asked to fix it at distance visual equity chart. Due to negative relative accommodation power, patients will see 6x6 line completely blur. Suppose patient is saying that 6x18 line is readable. Now while patient is looking at 6x18 line, alternate occlusion is performed by occluding right eye first then shifting the occluder to the left eye and then keep repeating this. Patient is asked right eye image is clearer or left eye image is clearer. Plus 0.25 diopter spherical is added to the clearer image until both images are equally blurred. Suppose patient is saying that right eye image is clearer. We will add plus 0.25 diopter in right eye. Patient is saying that right eye image is still clearer. So we will add another plus 0.25 diopter. Total 0.5 diopter. Now patient is saying that both eye images are equally blurred. Let's move to the next step. Step 4 Binocular defogging of negative relative accommodation value. Binocularly, negative relative accommodation or fogging power is reduced in plus 0.25 diopter steps until the 6x6 line becomes readable. Suppose after removing plus 1.5 diopter binocularly in plus 0.25 diopter steps, patient is saying that 6x6 line is readable for the first time. Remember, when patient first able to read 6x6 line, then we should stop reducing negative relative accommodative power or fogging power. Because further reducing NRA or fogging power will make 6x6 line clearer because of activating the accommodation. And our aim is to keep the accommodation relaxed. Now let's move to final step. Step 5. Writing final prescription. After binocular defogging of negative relative accommodation below, the leftover plus power will be added to the spherical power of the monocular acceptance power. 
So our monocular acceptance after defogging we have in right eye we have monocular acceptance and plus 1 diopter in total that is plus 0.5 diopter from binocular balancing and another plus 0.5 diopter is leftover negative relative accommodation value. In left eye we have monocular acceptance and another plus 0.5 diopter that is leftover negative relative accommodation value. So final power according to Borish Delayed method will be in the right eye minus 3 plus 1 or minus 2 diopter and in the left eye minus 2.75 plus 0.5 or minus 2.25. So previously in right eye there was minus 3 and in the left eye minus 2.75. That means in right eye minus 1 diopter was overcorrected and in the left eye minus 0.5 diopter was overcorrected.